Checking with Mike Yanni one final time, hanging out at Motto Milk. Uh, he's made well, milky with truffles. Uh -huh. uh, he's already had some other pasta dish before that. What are you up to now, Mike? Well, we had the char, which was delicious. And I did save a little bit for you guys, so a little goodie box coming back for you guys. Uh, but, you know, I know a lot of people are saying Model Milk. I've heard of it. Uh, but when you hear the name, you don't really think of a restaurant right away. So I want to talk to Chef Justin LeBeau and find out how Model Milk got its name. Um, well, the name simply came from the building. It, this literally is the Model Milk building. It says it three places in the front. And in 1934, a dairy opened in this space, and it was the first commercial dairy in southern Alberta uh, to use trucks and heat pasteurization. And it was a dairy. This building housed a dairy for about 30 or 40 years. It's been many other things since then, but in, in its in its establishment, it was a dairy. So we just thought we would keep the name because it was already on the building. So it was sort of one of those things that it just sort of seamlessly fit together for us. It really is a beautiful establishment just walking around here. It, it's, it's beautiful. Great bones. It, it, it for sure has great bones. We, did, we tried not to mess up what we found, just to sort of peel the layers back as, as much as we could and then not over-design it. So. Well, well done, and congratulations Thank for you. not only top restaurant, but top chef uh, by your peers. Uh, amazing. Congratulations. Now, I want to go over to Jennifer once more, uh, editor of Avenue Magazine. Now, we talked about you know, some of the top places to eat in the city, and definitely at Model Milk, but there's something else in the latest issue the 25 best unique eats in the city. There's, there's so much good food out there. There is so much good food, yeah. So we do this annually, um, 25 best things to eat. The lovely and talented Julie Van Rosendahl scours the city um, and finds 25 best things that she loves. You know, it's not necessarily the best of the best. It's more an introduction to things that people might not know of or that are new. So things like um, the potato pizza at Pasto. Pasto is um, Bonterra's new sister restaurant. Um, there, there's the custard shakes at Clive Burger, which is just down the street. I've they, heard of these. Oh, yeah. And so I just unfortunately been told they don't put the shots of bourbon in until 11. <laughs> so, just in case you're wondering at home, it might be a little bit too early to head over there. Yeah, there goes my breakfast cocktail. Um, <laughs> the pig head, Pig's Head Mortadella at Charquette, which is pretty iconic for the restaurant. It's awesome. Um, feta cheese from Kalamata Grocery. You know, Kalamata Grocery's been there forever, but who knew that they had, I think, I think it's six different kinds of feta cheese. Um, so it's a real mixture of straight up ingredients, um, prepared foods, and then some some dishes, some, some restaurant dishes. Well, there's some, definitely some amazing eats out there. And of course, if you watched us eating this food and you want to come and try it, you know where to go. <laughs> Model milk. And Tara, Ted, you'll get a taste coming up yeah. when I get back. Yeah, One bite promise. in my single gnocchi in a box. Model milk does Sunday dinners too, by the way. Family style. Yeah, it's awesome. I like it. Sharing style. Yeah, everyone shares it.